Alrighty guys, welcome back and in this video I want to start talking to you guys about how to set up a cloud server and I want to do this because a cloud servers are becoming really popular and B whenever you're first starting to learn about networking and servers and how to set them up it's probably not a good idea to just go out and buy you know like a three hundred dollar server start plugging things into it and you know you might mess something up so whenever you're just practicing getting used to setting up a server it's always a good idea to get one of these online and uh, you know just play around with it so that's what I'm gonna be doing and there's a bunch of different companies that allow you to buy cloud servers Amazon is probably the most popular but I like this one digital ocean it's really simple and they're incredibly cheap as well you can have a web server for an entire month for like five bucks so if you guys know any other cool companies then you know share them in the comments below but for now this is the one I use whenever I'm first like um setting up a project so this is what you do whenever you find a site log into it set up your account you know have a username and password and then you're gonna get a screen like this now in DigitalOcean they call their cloud servers droplets so don't let that confuse though. a droplet is just a cloud server so a lot of people get confused uh, you know trying to set up a server and they're just giving me raindrops well it's the same thing so I'm gonna hit create droplet alright so the first option that we have to fill out is a host name for our droplet now I just want to point out that this is not the um, name of your website you don't fill out like www.thenewboston.com this is just a name that you are going to see and no one else just so if you have a bunch of different droplets then you can identify them so I'm just gonna name this holy caps lock droplet 01 so it doesn't matter if your websites you know bacon.com youtube.com you can name this anything you want so you know a lot of people are like oh I don't know my domain name yet doesn't doesn't matter we'll set that up later so after this you're pretty much saying okay I want to build a cloud server with this configuration. Hold on, a freaking motorcycle is driving by. All right, so since this is a simple demonstration, I'm just going to go with the cheapest one, five bucks a month, less than a penny an hour. So 512 is the RAM, it has one CPU. This, the SSD, is the hard drive, and this down here, a thousand gigabyte transfer, that's the amount of bandwidth that can go through my server a month. So that's good for now. I don't think I'm going to be using more than that just for these tutorials. And after this, select a region. Is someone mowing their lawn? Is someone really mowing their lawn right now? I swear, as soon as I start filming, start people start driving by, mowing their lawns, having parades out front of my house. All right. So for now, just select the one closest to your house. I live in New York, so I'm just going to select New York. And again, that's just where you want the server to be set up now for the available settings I'm not going to choose any this is just going to be a really bare bones project just a demonstration now for the image this is saying what do you want pre-installed on your server whenever we set it up for you for the first time now for the distributions these are just the different operating systems the core operating systems that you can have now Ubuntu is just a flavor of Linux and right now I'm using Ubuntu version 14.04 64 bit. I actually want to bump this down to 32 bit. So I'm going to be using Ubuntu 14.04 32 bit. Now, the reason for this is because remember, this is just a little test server and it only has what, like 512? Yeah, 512 for RAM. So I don't have that much memory in 64 bit operating systems. Some of the processes and services on there they consume quite a bit of RAM of memory so yeah that's my explanation behind that now for applications if you know that I don't know maybe you're setting this up for some company and you know that they're developing their website in node or um, like PHP if it's PHP then you want to use LAMP it stands for Linux Apache MySQL in PHP but for now like I said I'm just gonna stick with the core basics and then we're gonna be setting everything up manually so snapshots is if you took any snapshots before my backups in destroyed droplets these are all if you had droplets before and you wanna you know make a copy of those or whatever but for right now that's good now whenever we connect to our server 
remember this server is in inside our house it's somewhere in New York probably in New York City so we have to connect to it we're gonna be doing this through a service called SSH this stands for secure shell now I highly recommend doing this instead of you know just traditional FTP because it's a lot more secure so what you can do is you can set it up right now and I'm gonna be showing you guys in the next video how to set up SSH but what you can do is you can set it up in insert your keys I'm gonna be talking to you guys about what they are but I actually had some trouble doing it this way so instead I'm just gonna create the droplet right now and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to set up the key later so yep there you go it takes a couple seconds and it takes 60 seconds and then your server is set up and then after about five minutes you're gonna receive an email and that email is gonna have the IP address of your server and also the login information so you can actually connect to it so once this is done setting up I'm gonna wait for the email and then once I receive that I'll start the next video so I'll see you then